I haven't coded in the last three weeks, and I probably haven't said a sadder statement the entire year, except for the fact that last week, AngularJS slid into my DMs and I almost fainted. I hate to blame external factors like poorly designed front-end frameworks instead of taking responsibility for my own problems, but what I did realize for myself is I produce very different results depending on the environment that I'm in. I grew up all my life in one of the hippiest places on earth, Austin, Texas, and lived there until August of this year. This is where I coded some of my biggest accomplishments like Facebook.com, which got acquired by Meta, and a Doge-themed clubhouse clone called Doge House, which got acquired by nobody. The motto of the city is keep Austin weird, and maybe that energy got me to be so productive, but I think the true secret was an ergonomic chair, a mechanical keyboard, and a rock solid routine that consisted of coding, sleeping, eating, making content, and avoiding AngularJS at all costs. But I got this itch to try some other places before committing my entire life to Austin. So while everyone was moving there, I decided to leave. I stuck my ergonomic chair in my car and drove to my first destination, Scottsdale, Arizona, where I stayed for a month. Then I went to LA, Vegas, and my final destination was New York. It started off well because Scottsdale's kind of boring and I got sick, but as I went to some of the funner cities, I just got caught up in more and more events that sucked up all of my time. At first, I felt busy slash productive going to dinners, meetups, conferences, and slumber parties, but I realized kind of at the end that, wait, I'm actually not accomplishing anything, and I have once again effed up my YouTube posting schedule, which just pisses me off. I did try to get some coding done while I was in New York, but one of the things I noticed about the people there is they don't really understand the concept of Balmer's Peak, where you drink a little bit of alcohol to boost your productivity. They start at Balmer's Peak, but then they keep going to Balmer's Valley, and then they finish at Balmer's Canyon, and Balmer's not producing a single line of code there. They visit Balmer's Canyon like it's their favorite vacation spot, and their company gave them unlimited vacation, and they didn't realize that that really only translates to like three weeks a year if they're lucky. I personally wasn't built to have a morning commute where you scale the side of a canyon to get to work but I do enjoy making TikToks, so you kind of have to pick your poison. My original plan to start accomplishing things again was to stay in New York, hermit in my room, say no to absolutely everything, and start producing stuff again. The only problem with fun cities is they're an expensive SaaS subscription, not only for your wallet, but the entire energy of the city just wants you to do things all the time. And I went the complete opposite of both of those things. So I moved to the boringest place I could think of with 200 megabyte per second internet, and now I live in Tennessee.